a lot does not want that. Um, well, if Lucy's uh, like dominating Charlie Brown, Allah would not. I be think into Allah that. just wants balance you for know? sure, but he definitely wouldn't want Lucy kicking Charlie Brown's ass. I mean, that would be uh, get the fuck out of here with that. This uh, bitch needs to be put in her place. Uh, what was Charlie Brown's crimes, though? Had he? <laughs> it depends what he had done. Good point. Charlie Brown was an infidel. So that might be like the worst punishment we have for you. Yeah, just be a, <laughs> humiliated a woman by a woman. <laughs> well, maybe a wo- it's perfect. A woman's gonna laugh at your dick. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's perfect. It's just I I just I'm concerned that it seems like all this stuff is accelerating to yeah, some sort of a I love boiling it. point. Do you love it? You want to know why? Why? Because my girlfriend's like ten or twelve years younger than me, so she has like hopes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <sighs> like, but. Uh, now that the bomb, when the bombs hit, like I, I did drugs and drank and smoked for you know, these healthy motherfuckers. Like you're gonna die right with me. Oh, did you try to extend your life? We're all going together. I barely wore a condom. <laughs> That's what you're happy about that you fucked it's your so, life up, so it's fine. It's uh, in fact, if it doesn't end, I'll be like, oh shit, I should have handled my life better. Well, there's a lot of people that live like that, right? If the apocalypse never comes, like shit, all these preppers, like God now, damn, I'm gonna spend all my time canning peaches and shit. No, the, that's they're gonna be the be nice to them because pretty soon, yeah, they're gonna be the only ones. <laughs> they're gonna be the people that have like the ability to generate power with the sun. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. they figured out like zero grid. point energy in their backyard yeah. while you're the thing sticking is, like, around with string theory. People don't understand like power is only going to do so good if society goes down because there'll be no more communication. And right. That's the that's the great like what we're are now is we're electronically connected to everybody. So you know how to get places. You know what's going on. You know the news. You know the weather. You know the fucking highways. You got a map. You I got think a GPS. I do. Yes. You're just if you're if you have a cell phone that works and you're in a car and you are traveling in this country, you have an incredible resource. And then all of a sudden that's gone and you don't know where the fuck you are and no one has a map and no one knows how to read a map even if you fucking had it. And now all of a sudden the world is a mystery again, just like it was in the 1800s. The world's a mystery. Everything over that hill is who knows. It could be hostile Indians. I feel like it's like that. Who fucking knows? I feel like it's like that with all of the stuff. (laughs) I think it's, I don't, what in the fuck can you trust? Every time I find out a new thing, I'm like, I have to have like a period of PTSD time right, to but at digest least it. There's a possibility of finding out. My point yeah. is, if all that shit goes down, it's not going to matter if you have power because you're not going to have any communication. All it, it's yeah. going to be gone. Everyone within one generation is going to be a fucking moron again. No one's going to have any idea of what they're going to have stories about what society used to be like. 